What's up guys, it's Aaron Nitmar here with another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate news video. Today we're talking about the water type Pokemon Greninja and his newly revealed Final Smash Ash Greninja. So if you head over to the Super Smash Bros. website, we can see that the entry for October 11th is Greninja. Now typically these blog posts aren't too revealing as the videos have been up since day one of Smash Ultimate's reveal and all of this footage has been well analyzed and seen by hundreds of thousands, so none of it is really new. However, today we have an exception. The final sentence of Greninja's blog entry tells us one simple thing. During its final smash, it turns into Ash Greninja? So this is pretty interesting for a couple of reasons. First, as far as I can remember, this is the first time that the actual information posted to the blog has been information that we have yet to learn about. In past games, Brawl, Smash for 3DS, and Wii U, we used to learn about new information all the time through blog posts or Miiverse updates. But Smash Ultimate is different in that it really keeps any and all new information relegated to simply Nintendo Directs. So this is a pretty unique scenario this time around. The second interesting thing is that Greninja seems to be the very first Pokemon character to be directly linked to the Pokemon anime in terms of moveset or aesthetics. Now I know some of you are typing a comment right now saying Pikachu has his anime voice, Mewtwo and Lucario are also based on the anime. And yeah, I agree. Those Pokemon do have their personalities and things taken from the anime. But none of what they actually do or wear seems to originate exclusively from the anime. And you can usually find a commonality between the main Pokemon games, the anime, and Smash. Ash Greninja is unique because it was created specifically for the anime. It was to give Ash some kind of a mega evolution while also making it unique to only him, because of course he's the show's protagonist so they do things like that. In the show there was a transformation called Bond Phenomenon, in which the Pokemon will take on a new form for a short time. Long story short, it's basically mega evolution but without an item and for some reason Ash also feels the pain Greninja goes through, I guess that's another thing that they just decided to do. Like I said, it was invented specifically for the anime and we all know how the anime likes to take its liberties with the Pokemon canon, so it's not a crazy serious thing. But unlike similar events in the past with the Pokemon anime, this transformation Greninja takes on has officially been made canon being one of the few direct references to the anime that exists in the core games. In the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo, the player could receive a Greninja, which has Ash as its original trainer ID and the ability Battle Bond. This Greninja can of course also become Ash Greninja, and was fully transferable and legal to the full versions of Pokemon Sun and Moon and Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so it wasn't exclusive to the demo, you can actually use it to this day. So this is likely why the Ash Greninja form will be appearing in Smash Ultimate. We haven't seen very many instances of anime forms for the Pokemon fighters. Mewtwo never had his armor, all of the hats Pikachu and Jigglypuff can wear are based on the games, not the anime. Different areas that could be based on the anime really never were. Even the Nurse Joy hat Jigglypuff wears is based on the ones from a previous Pokemon game and not from the Pokemon anime itself. So because the games made Ash Greninja canon, it's very likely that Sakurai and his team are now comfortable making that his final smash in Smash Ultimate. Now we don't know any of the functions of his Final Smash yet. We do know that controllable Final Smashes are entirely out. Ash Greninja in Smash 4 would probably have fallen under a Gigamac or Wario Man transformation style and would have been controllable for a short time. But now it's likely that we'll just see a quick cutscene where he transforms into Ash Greninja, barrages the opponent, maybe even similar to his old Final Smash, who knows, and then transforms back. It would actually be really cool if he stayed Ash Greninja for the rest of the match, or at least until he was KO'd, kind of to even further parallel the games and the anime. But that's just kind of me dreaming here. But that is pretty much everything we know. Hopefully later on we will see or hear more about this transformation, but for now this is really all that I can talk about. I tried my best to give some context for the non-Pokemon fans out there, so if you all knew what I was saying already, I do apologize, but some people don't follow Pokemon as closely as others, so they may be completely confused as to what this weird new form is. But yeah, with all that said, what do you guys think? Do you like this new Final Smash? Did you prefer the old one? What would you hope Ash Greninja would do in his Final Smash? 
Me personally, I kind of liked his old one, but I'm kind of glad that now he has something that is actually official. Uh, when Granger was made for Smash 4, it was pretty much based entirely off of just his design because Pokemon X and Y had not been released yet. So they were kind of being worked on simultaneously and they didn't have a lot to go off of. I think if the games had been out, they probably would have gone a different route with his final Smash. But it was nice, but it's nice that we now have something that's actually been in the games and is now something that Greninja actually has had before and not some weird ninja thing that he has never done before. I don't know, it was like a Super Saiyan Shadow Sneak or something, it was weird. So it's nice that he has something that's actually been in a game before. On a semi-related note, with Ash's Hat Pikachu also being canon now in the Pokemon games, I really hope that we get an Ash Hat costume for Pikachu included in the same way that Ash Greninja was. That's just me hoping because I love the Ash Hat design to death. I really hope that it's in. And of course, because I play Pikachu in Smash 4, I very much liked it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That was just kind of another little note that I had because we could see other things like that now that we have sort of an anime extension into Smash. But yeah, that is everything for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe because I cover Smash Ultimate news all the time. Anytime something breaks, I pretty much always make a video on it. So if you subscribe, you can be sure that you will be staying up to date all the way up to Smash Ultimate's release. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, and I hope you have an awesome day. Man.